Caddis Maximus here. This is Ideal's conduit, they call it a twist and nut conduit reamer tool. This one, they have two versions of these. Ones that have a number two Robertson's or a number two square drive, and another version which has a slot head. The reason that the, the square drive is, well, first off, this is a conduit reamer. Conduit is commonly half inch, three quarter inch, or one inch. So you just use your normal pipe cutter, cut the conduit, or you may even use a saw or something that, you know, or saws all, hacksaw to cut the conduit. You get a nasty burr around the edge of the conduit, which, which can, of course, scrape the insulation off of wires that you're pulling through it. So once you cut your conduit, this is just a simple tool. It has this little replaceable deburring cutter. And so it just slides into the conduit and then you just twist it around and it just knocks off the burrs on both the inside and the outside. A little set screw so you can order and replace the little cutter when it starts to wear out. And it's just self-centering on whatever size conduit you're using. The three most common sizes, once again, half, three quarter, and one inch. Just put it in and just drive it by hand. Super simple. And then once you've deburred the conduit, then you put it into the various fittings and that's why it comes with the screwdriver. The reason it has a ring around it is it's captured, so it does, it's less likely to slip off the screw. It's more important on the flathead version. With the Roberts version, it's not such a big deal, but it still just makes it simple to put on the fastener and really tighten it down, just not have to worry about it really wanting to pop out. Another advertised aspect is this is kind of like a six in one where you can pull out the head, has a hex drive, so you can just put this whole head in a drill motor and make your life a lot faster and easier. So I kind of think that's an innovative. I like the fact that you can both use it by hand or use it with the drill and you can separate it. Now the reason they call it a twist knot is on the handle, kind of had a hard time figuring out what the heck that strange shape is. It's for twisting wire nuts. It does not work on the most giant of wire nuts and it does not work on the tiniest of wire nuts either, but on average size wire nuts, when you're working with 18, 16, 14 gauge wire, it's just fine. So the whole deal is it just has these notches you put on the wire nut instead of, you know, if you're twisting a lot of wires or a lot of wire nuts, you know, it can be a bit of a hassle. Your fingers can get sore. So the kind of, the, and the fact that when you put on wire nuts, you got to twist them until they stop. They actually have to be pretty tight. That's the whole point of this is you just get the wire nut started put this in there and then what these little slots do is they just grab the wings of the wire nut so you get a really strong grip on it and then you have this big handle to screw down and tighten the wire nuts. So that's what Ideal does is they kind of make various test equipment, electrical type tools, kind of like, you know, they're kind of in competition with Klein and Greenlee. That's the probably be some of their bigger competitors. And I just thought this was kind of an innovative conduit deburring tool with a nice integrated screwdriver the ability to pull out the head and, and use the handle separately or use the head separately in a drill motor. And then something that I thought was innovative, which is besides the deburring tool, the fact that it has a wire nut driver built into the other end of the handle. And there's been a few times when I when the wire nuts have been in some pretty tight spaces where it's just been hard to actually get your fingers in there. This allows you to really just get a strong grip on that wire nut, even in a tight space and be able to tighten it down. So anyway, just wanted to make a little video about it. I think this thing's like 15 bucks, so it's a reasonable price for what it is. And I do like the idea that you can replace this cutter. That's very smart of them. It's, you know, it's still like a few bucks for this cutter, but it's better than having it just be integrated somewhere into the steel body where it ends up wearing out. In this case, when it does wear, you can just easily swap it out. Anyway, really appreciate everybody who's been watching, and we'll see you next time.